Well, hi. So this is Monica. We call her Monica Harmonica. And the dark calf over there, that's Yahoo. I'm sorry, Wahoo. Her whole name is Kandu Wahoo. Her mom's name is Tullaby. And Tullaby was a famous World War II submarine, as is the Wahoo. So I just... They got their halters on yesterday and got branded and were feeling all kinds of angry and upset with me. So I came in this morning to give them some cubes, which I have just finished doing. And uh, I wanted to film a video of this because Wahoo here kept on trying to eat my hands, which were in front of the camera or the phone and I wanted to show uh, the teaching of all gone and at first they don't get it and I have no idea why my legs getting licked by this cat right now she's not licked me before but anyway wanted to teach them the idea of all gone in a <clears throat> situation where I am not pressured and the thing is is they don't understand what I'm saying uh, or care. They think there's food. They're going to keep on looking for food. But as they grow up and we continue to use this, they will figure out what the words mean and will not be as food aggressive when we tell them that it is all gone. Uh, one of the other things, the other reasons why I use uh, the cubes for food training, not only just to make them friendly, but also to get them used to me messing with and around their heads. So I haven't done that before. This is the first morning that we've done anything like that. And Monica's a little bit upset at me because I actually took her chain and pulled it. And that was the first time that her head has been affected by the halter other than just having the halter on it. Um, so that was unpleasant for her. The other one, Wahoo, I was able to take hold of the ring on the end of the chain and move it. And so she couldn't really feel any restriction from me doing that. But my hand was there near the ring. Hi. And there was noise like that. And the fact that she didn't care was good. Sweetie. Ooh. Oh, and I actually just applied some pressure and she doesn't seem to be too bothered. All gone. All gone. Here, you want to see what the inside of the cow mouth looks like? No teeth on the top. Oh, I can't believe she's letting me do that. Silly girl. All gone. Those are my fingers. All gone. Oh, and cows can bite. Um, and just because they don't have top teeth doesn't mean it won't hurt. Uh, they have a hard plate <laughs> on the top. And uh, and it does hurt. It pinches quite a bit. Sweetie, all gone. But I've only had a cow bite, bite me once on, on purpose. She was not a happy girl. All gone. All gone. Good girl. Good girl. Monica's having none of this foolery. Wahoo, you're just a brave girl, aren't you? Huh? Yes, you are. She's a granddaughter of Rexy B. One of our very big horned cows. And honestly, the uh, most colorful relative we've had out of Rexy B. Up until Rexy B's current calf, which is a really pretty black and white lineback. All gone. All gone. Nope. No. No foods. All gone. Okay, hey, girl. I'm going to save the video because it's getting kind of long. Love you guys. And uh, thank you for subscribing to the Longhorn channel.